Good morning. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to actually work. Wow, it worked. I just have to get it hung up here, so just give me one second. Sorry, but. All right, wow, it worked. I can't believe it, okay. Okay. Let me get my iPad then. Usually I use my iPad and then, not my phone, but today I don't have any battery, so. I'm trying to do the opposite. <laughs> and I didn't think it was gonna work. Good Lord. Okay. Hi. All right. Okay. Let me get everything situated. I have so much out right now that I can't even move. <laughs> My favorite thing in life. <laughs> My messy desk. Yes, I'm still coughing. Sorry. Turn the sound down. Mute me. Whatever you gotta do. <laughs> Whatever you got to do, because I'm having too much fun. And watch this. I got a new light. I'll move it out of the camera way in here one second. Look at that. Look at that. I'm happy. There. Is it better? I think it is. I'm really excited about it. <laughs> okay. So. I'm doing this thing and you know how I like assembly lines and I figured while I'm doing it I might as well show y'all because you know I'm obsessed with making journals I love sitting at my desk with all my stuff getting out my things making my stuff okay so this is what it is it's no big deal <laughs> it's no big deal but you know I'm all about it so cardstock, and then I just glued a couple pieces of lace and some cheesecloth down, and I'm making these Lorna Taylor little Lorna Taylor stamps. She's on Instagram, and you go there and you see all the stamps. She's got all the good stamps. That's where I got my Tiffany stamps, all the stamps. So the order them from her Instagram, and then she'll send them to you. But anyway, so I got these. Oh, you know, <laughs> and if you like your stamps. Oh, I'm all excited, you know. So I'm making these cute little vintage market little tag, little ticket things. It says open daily antiques, relics, and heirlooms. So I'm like, sweet. So that's what I did. And then I used tea, tea stain. It's a new one. I never used tea, tea dye before, you know, this kind to molds, of course. But anyway, so I used tea on that. And then I just script stamped my piece of junk sitting there you know and then I got these I hate to go on and on about it but I love these so much I'll show you you know there could be a hundred years old that thing because I went to this store that has you know all the stuff all the vintage antiques the whole upstairs oh my god it was the best and it's been there for a hundred and some years you know and all of a sudden COVID and then you know everything happens and they go out of business and I went there because it's been there for so long. It goes out of business and I went up and I had a bunch of stuff, you know. And then these were sitting, you know, on his desk behind everything. And I'm like, I know this is weird, but what are you going to do with all those tags? <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm just throwing them out. And I'm like, oh my God, no. Please, can I buy those too? Please, can I have these? <laughs> He's like, sure. And he gave me the whole box. Oh my God. I mean, I had to buy it, but oh my God, it was fun, you know? So anyways, um, and then he realized too that, oh my God, they might be worth something. Let me look. So he starts digging. Oh, this is my dad's handwriting. I'm going to keep this. Oh, this is my mom's handwriting. I'm going to keep this. See, they both died. He took over the business. Anyways, so, you know, these meet, meant something even to him. So I'm so thrilled to have them. So now I'm using them on every little thing I can possibly do so I think that's fun and part of the junk journaling is the thrill of the finds you know so this one you can make your own if you don't have it I got these you know you can get them on Amazon whatever it's no big deal but I just like it because it's all could be I don't know but it's fun so that's fun 
So anyways, so that's all I'm doing. No biggie. But I wanted to show you guys because a lot of you, and I always flash this out and show you guys my, oh, my junk jewelry stash. I have a ton, a ton of stuff. I love the junk jewelry and the rhinestones. You go, the gaudier and the bigger, the louder, the better for me. You know how it is with me and my stuff if you watch my channel. So I start making all this stuff and you guys always ask me, you got any, you know, you got any. So I put some by the pound junk jewelry in my shop. Now finally it's back open. So I have that. Okay, so it's there. Just so you know. So then we can skip that part and get on to the business here. Let's do it. So I just took a bracelet. You know, and you got to get your glasses and, you know, get your tools out and, you know, doing this jewelry work takes some time, but I want to tell you some secrets. The O-rings on these pieces are better than any O-rings you're going to buy. I can't find any. I mean, maybe you might know somewhere, but... Every time I order these O-rings, they stink. They never stay Oh, shut. Everything I put on them falls. So these, to me, are precious. And I'm using them right now. I'm taking them off here. And I'm saving them. Because it's a major. <laughs> you know. So. I'm saving it. Now. Because I have so many and they're so nice on here. I wanted this. Look how pretty it is. And it's a bracelet. I just take it apart. And use all the flowers. Look. They got diamonds in the middle. Everything. Perfect. Psh, there's seven of them on here. And that just happens to be how many I'm going to make. So look how cute that is. Sick. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. So. And I'm telling you. I don't care what kind of glue. I've tried everything, because I've been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> I've tried every kind of glue, and I am telling you, this tacky glue is the best glue for everything, even the jewelry. I've tried the jewelry glue and the, you know, all the glues, every kind of glue. And I'm telling you, this is the best glue for everything. It does everything, so... I don't care, and it's cheap at Walmart. So I'm just all about this tacky glue. I don't care. I tried the tacky glue gel. I didn't like it as much. It's not the same. It doesn't grab as quick. And you know, this stuff's excellent. So look at that. Isn't that cute? So now this is a belly band. I can glue it down, and then you tuck stuff behind. So I'm going to put, you know, my little envelopes. Look, I got Tiffany envelopes. By the way, Lorna Taylor has a Tiffany stamp, so I'm going to put envelopes behind here. I'll probably put, like, a cabinet card, you know, which I have sitting here. Here, I'll just use, like, a Tim Holtz one. I'll go like this, you know, on the page. You imagine this on a page, you know, and I'll put that in there and maybe some, you know, paper or something. And it'll be a whole deal, you know, a whole deal. So, funsies. Okay, now this one, I want to make it so it goes this way. Because I was thinking, ooh, that's a cute cover, too. You know what I mean? Like, I was going to put this other jewelry on it thinking, and then I get to thinking, oh, this jewelry is kind of expensive. You know what I mean? Everything's kind of expensive. <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, put my best stuff on a stupid page. Uh, so some of this stuff I want to save for covers. And in which case, because I was thinking, you know, because... She could be out shopping. I mean, she doesn't look too happy, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. So if this was a cover, for instance, say, and I'm going to decorate this part and have the vintage market thing sticking out and whatever, you know, like this, only this way. But for some reason, I want the tag on this side. And then the words are better read or something like that. But I was thinking this would be a cute cover, you know, like this. Having these hang and whatever, and we can... Hang stuff, you know. I don't know. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I'm going to do these. So this one I'm going to make to go up and down because I want to do it. And then if you just want to put it on the side of a page as well, you know. 
just for a tab or just have something hanging out or just an embellishment, take a tuck spot, you know, the bottom tuck, you know, whatever. Just use it for whatever. So I'm going to make, you know, 10. <laughs> you know, that's how I do it. And I got my little O-rings. I can't lose these. I don't know where to put it right now going in a video. Shoot. Oh, oh well, I'm going to set them over here and hopefully I don't lose them, you know. That's that scenario. But I just wanted to make sure and show you guys that, you know, anything you pick up, can you can use. this? I could have put an earring here. It would have been the same thing. I could have put this bobble there. Anything. You can use your junk shirt. Just dig it out. And look at mine. I got bumblebees and gaudies. Oh, yes. Serious business. Serious business. This is how we're going to do it. Okay, so I just stamped out on a whole sheet of paper like this all these vintage markets, doot, 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 and I'm going to use them all and I'm going to make the little tags, you know what I mean? So I just bend this at the top and cut it like this, and I got my little corners done, and then I'm doing this. For funsies. I had a little piece sitting here that I was cutting off of, but maybe it's gone. Oh, here it is. I don't like this because you can't see through it, and so I don't know where I'm at. Like, I don't know, but anyways. I like to be able to see through. I need two of these. I don't know. See, I couldn't tell where I was at with that one, so I missed it. Shoot dumb thing. I don't like it that you can't see through it. Stupid thing. Alright, so, because you have to have this on there. <laughs> you just have to or it doesn't look authentic. So, just have to do it. And then, I forget now if I inked it before or after, but I guess I'm going to do it before. And I'm using tea stain this time. Tea dye distress ink. I never used tea dye before, so. Oh, it's just another shade of brown, I know, but for whatever reason, it's very thrilling. So, <laughs> I'm all excited about it. There, and we'll put the little doohickey on, whatever these are called. Hole reinforcers or whatever, so they do a dual purpose. So now it won't rip as easy, but it also looks good. And that's what I'm after, is how it looks. See this one, you can see. That's what I like. And then these are cute. I was thinking this would look good, obviously, with string, because when you get, you know, go to market and stuff they always use the strings this one I used a bunch of fabric fuzz just to see what it would look like and I script stamped it and stuff to see what it would look like and I like it but I might want to use some string on these too you know just for kicks switch it up a little bit you know but whatever you got laying around and then because I like an assembly line I'm just going to use the same bits that I got sitting here from the last one Then I don't have to spend my time looking for something. I spend most of the time looking for stuff, which I hate. So, so this was easy. Big, thick, chunky piece. Yes, please. I coffee stained it too. Didn't make it all the way through though, so I gotta ink it a little bit. And now I'm going to have these extra little pieces, so I'll probably make, like, tabs or something. Right? There. Nice. See, I got these extra pieces. Don't throw them away. Because we'll do something, you know, eventually. Eventually... 
All right, and then I just have my stuff sitting here, so I'm just gonna use it, because otherwise I have to look for string. I mean, I know where it is. It's right here, I guess I could, but it always ends up to be a conundrum. Something always happens, you know. But this is pretty string. Somebody sent it to me in a rack, which I appreciate very much. Thank you. Um, it was so long ago, I forget who it was, but I said thank you at the time. So, if she's watching again, thanks again, because I'm using it. This is cute, brown and white stripe. It'll be kind of like, you know, from, um, you know the song. Brown paper packages tied up with string. You know, these are a few of my favorite things. You know that song? So that's what makes them write me up like this. When you string, you know. And my granddaughter is eight, so I get to show her all the cool stuff. Like the sound of music. <laughs> she can barely sit through it, though. She's like, oh my god. She likes the parts, you know, with the dresses and all the stuff. But in between all the stuff, she doesn't, you know. But So it's kind of fun. So I bought her Mary Poppins for Christmas. I'm so excited. Kids these days don't watch that stuff, you know. They go right on YouTube and they're all about, you know all the stuff in the world already so it's like no we're gonna do mary poppins and you know <laughs> all right so what did i use oh i used safety pins so we'll get those i need two safety pins for the tag on here how does this open here it is two pins And then we need two pieces of fuzz. <coughs> no, I guess I already got that. So that's fine. We'll just use those. And then I'll get two tags out of my box that I just showed you in my big long story about it. Don't hate me. Don't hate me because I have lots of stories happening. I don't know what this says. Oh, these says vintage glasses. Oh, fun. $10. Speaking of which, look what else I got. I was thinking of trying to put them on here. That's funny. Let me show you what I got. I'm so excited. For a cover, I should use this one for a cover. Because look what I found at that sale that I was just telling you about. Look at the vintage glasses pieces. Like, is this not the coolest thing or what? You know what I mean? They're all broken and stuff, but it's so what, you know? I just want the impression, you know? You know what I mean? Like, this is gonna be so cool on a page. You know what I mean? Because it's relatively flat. And I got a bunch of broken pieces, look. Aren't these neat? I love them so much. Oh, well, I'm all excited. So, and this says vintage glasses right on it. I wonder if I could somehow stick this in here and put this on here. Oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Hi, Andrea. Look at these, D did you miss it? Did you see it, Andrea, an Asian tiger? Did you see my box? Look, I went to this shop, you know, and found these broken pieces of eyeglasses and stuff. So I'm making these little things and seriously, I was just digging in here to finish this up. And it literally says vintage eyeglasses on the back and I remembered I bought these. So I'm like, oh my God, these are so cool. <laughs> So I got to do it. So I'm making vintage market little, see these vintage market it says heirlooms, antique and relics. So I'm doing like little belly bands or like covers, you know, if you, you know, put the picture behind, you know, like this. So I got the little tag and the stuff and the, this, and this is from my 
junk jewelry collections. I have junk jewelry in my shop. And I was just showing my big dish and stuff because you can go get it in my store now. I'm so excited. So we took apart the bracelet and we're making the deals. So now I'm doing the up and down one and I was thinking and I got my jewels on because I'm being silly. I was digging through my jewelry. This says vintage glasses, $10. Oh my God, I'm excited. I got to use this one. Oh, I can't stand it. I know, I couldn't pick one either. I bought everything. Did you go? <laughs> She's even got Tiffany. I bought the Tiffany ones. Good Lord. I bought every single one. Did you see my post? <laughs> oh my God, this lady makes me sick. You got to go to Instagram to get them though. So you go find Lorna on Instagram and then you order them and then she makes them for you and sends them. And she sends them in these cool, let me show you. She sends them in these cool things. Look, these with the wax seal and stuff. And then she's got the gold, you know, like embossing stuff. And she sends them in these cool folders. Look what this one says, apothecary, you know, and stuff. And they're cool. And she sends them like that. Oh, it's fun. And then you get to go crazy like I am right now. I'm so excited. <laughs> Can't even deal. Oh, it's stupid. I know. I don't know why I get such a thrill out of this. <laughs> I don't know why. Good Lord. As soon as I found this art form, I just freaked out. And I've been freaking out. How long have I been doing it? Eight years? I don't know, seven years, whatever it says on my group. I don't know. I forget now, but I just can't stop. So I just love it so much because you get to do the collecting and the, you know, everything that goes with it. Like it's just so multifaceted that it's just, it makes me happy. I know, Andrea, you have to get these stamps. I'm telling you because they're so cute. This is vintage market I've been using and look the laundry oh I can't wait to show you what I would do with these laundry ones and then look what I've been doing I was gonna show you guys I forgot because <laughs> I was making this stuff but look I've got a whole box I've been doing stuff it's crazy look at these look at these ones general store <gasps> aren't those cute with the little lace I mean the I put black seam binding that's for my shop and then the cardboard, and then I got some, what is this called? Um, mulberry? Because you got to rip it with water, water pen, you know? And then you can rip it. Somebody sent this to me in a rack. I was so thankful to get this piece. <laughs> I appreciated it so much. I thanked the girl yesterday. She, she wrapped her tag up in this when I was thrilled with this. <laughs> <laughs> I love the tag and I hung it up and I posted a picture and anything, but this, I was like, oh my God, mulberry paper. So I used it instantly and I put it on here. I love. And then I just did black, but I kind of want some, I don't know, brown on there or did I wreck it? I don't know. I put some tea stain on there. And then I just left it simple, you know. And then I'm going to put, you know, cool stuff in there. I don't know what, but I love these. I just think it's so cute, don't you guys? Or is it just me? I don't know, but I just love them. I love it. And you can get the bags in my shop. I coffee stained them, obviously. If you need some, I have 30 packs. If you need 30, I think I give you six of each size or five of each size, depending. And then I decided to do a couple pink ones just to see what the pink ones would look like. And the pink ones are cute, too. You know, I always got to try the pinks and see how it goes. So these are super fun. I've been trying these. General store. Good Lord, that looks so good. I can't stand it. And then, <laughs> you stupid. And then I did these Lorna Taylor stamps. Where's my ones? Look, antiques and I waxed. And I did the wax seal and I waxed over with the beeswax, you know. <gasps> Love these. I don't know why, but I have a bunch with the wax seals on, but I just didn't grab them all. But there's one anyways. Look at these. All Lorna Taylor stamps. Can't stand it. I love these so much. And this is waxed. Love it. And then, ta-da! These ones I love. <laughs> I just love these so much. I don't know why. I just into it look at how cute these turned out mercantile and this is rusty hinge ink 
nothing. And I just, you know, copy stained my bags and this is muslin. I script stamped and then I wrapped the string. It's no big deal. It's just cheese cloth, you know, <laughs> but I just get all excited. I don't know. And then I used my, one of my little tags I told you guys about that was really old. And I stuck a little Tim Holtz kid there and then I waxed over the top. That's why it's all messed up. And I'm just all about it. I can't even stand it. I just think these are so dang cute. And the men. I used all men on these because I don't ever use the Tim Holtz men. I don't know about you guys, but I just never do. I ne I'm always doing lace and frills, you know, so I never use the boys. So I have tons of boys left. So I used them on these and it works. Look how good they look. Serious. These are so dang cute. I can't stand it. Jeez. So I'm thrilled, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. So I did a whole bunch of those. A whole bunch of these. Got them all done here. And then I decided then, uh-oh, this is really something because I'm going to go crazy on this. But yesterday I started these with the belt buckles. This lace is in my shop. Um, I think it says lace and textile bundle, but this with the not, with the little dots. It's in my shop. Oh my God, look how cute these are with the buckles. So I'm thinking to myself, this is too cute to go on a stupid bag. I did the same thing again. This has to go on a cover. Like, I can't. So I got to make some covers now with this buckle and the, and the velvet and these buckles. Look how cute that is. So I'm going to do a bunch of these with a the little photo, you know, like, where's my little photos? Where are they? It's hard to imagine without the photos here. I found one. Look. You know, with the little photo. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm saying? And we can somehow stick it in. You know what I mean? Somehow, I gotta get the photo in. We gotta figure this out. Because this is too cute. I can tuck it behind, you know? <gasps> I gotta do it. But anyways, I could go on and on showing you guys all my stuff. <laughs> but I've been making and making and making and making and then I want to show you these too, but let's not because my video is getting too long. Let's finish this first because I got these other things I do with guest checks. They're so cute, but I like guest checks. So, because <laughs> I used to be a waitress. So, okay, where am I at? Stop all your messing around here. We got things to do. <laughs> Just, oh my God, my video is 27 minutes already and I haven't even made anything. Oh, I talk too much. I get too sidetracked and then and then okay so how do I want this to go I want this to be on the side because I want to be able to use this a little bit different than this one so I cut this now and I don't even know if I want it because let's see And then somebody sent me this gauze, Lori. No, it was Joni Foster. Oh my God, I love this gauze. Sick. All right, so how was I gonna do this? I was gonna go like this, cause I'm trying to put these old glasses in here. Like somehow like this, but I gotta put this down first. Somehow. Let's do it. And this has to go on a cover. I'm not going to use these eyeglass pieces and then just stick it in a page. Good Lord. <laughs> I would die. Can't do that. I don't know if I even like this now. Let's do it sideways so it's hanging funny or something. And then I'll put a little more glue on top right here. I should put a ruffle there instead, shouldn't I? Yes, yes, yes. Good Lord, we need a ruffle. But I'm just gonna do muslin because this is all muted natural colors. And let's do it like this. That's kind of thick, but oh well. Shoot. It's gotta be just right, you know. Everything's gotta be just right or, or I don't like it, you know. I gotta get a little ink on this. It's just too shiny. Okay. So if it hangs this way, then I'm gonna wanna do this. And then I'll just scrunch. 
and let this hang. Scrinch and hold, scrinch and hold. There, good. Okay, then, how can I do this? Can I just stick this and just, let's just see. I mean, shoot. I'm sure I can figure it out, you know, where it'll just go back here somehow and then poke up through and, oh my God. Oh, I cannot control my excitement on this end. Let me tell you what, because that looks so freaking good. And then the tag says vintage glasses. I'm excited. This is so cute. I can't stand it. I love it. And then I was going to put a little bit of the gauze hanging around somewhere, you know. I don't know where, but somewhere. And I'll just stick it around, you know. We'll just stick it around somewhere. <laughs> like this to have it around hanging. Okay, and then this will stick right here. And I am squealing thrilled with that. Let me tell you what. Squealing. And I'll use this for a cover, I guess, because I'm not going to use these glasses on just a belly band on a page somewhere in random, some random book. So, this is so cute. I love it. I don't like this big piece of lace hanging here, though. So I got to figure out something quick like, because I don't like it. But I'll figure it out. I'll hack it up on the edge and stick something there, you know. You know. Just figure it out. Look at it hanging there. Dirt. I hate it. Looks good on this one because it's sideways, but that's not the right piece for up and down. So, I gotta hack it a little bit because it's not hanging right. Darn it. That's much better. I'll hack it some more so it hangs. Otherwise, there's no movement, you know, there's no life. You want it to hang off and do things. This is too stiff of a piece for that, but we'll fix her up. There, let it hang off. You know. Shoot, I'm cutting it all off. I don't like it. There. Now that looks good. Now this looks good. Ooh, I love it. I want to put more stuff on, you know, but sometimes less is more. Because if this is a cover piece and I end up putting, like, this chick on the front, you know, not her because she's very depressed. But you get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea. It'll be cute. You know, because if I do this and I stick her here and I have like a little envelope, you know, or something, you know, like this, you know what I mean? Or have it on this side, whatever. And it's cute, you know, you just make your little, your little arrangements, you know? Yeah. I know, it's so cute. Oh, I love it so much. And I have like three or four or five of these. So I could make a couple of these for some covers, you know. So cute. So anyways, thanks for coming in and playing with me a little bit. I'm going to sit here and make some more. And then, of course, I'll post them in group. You know how I do. It's part of the fun. So you guys do the same thing. Make your stuff. Use group. You might as well. It's fun, you know. It's fun. A couple days I got the kids and the family and everybody coming, so I won't be on, of course, for the holidays. But as soon as I can, you know, I'll be back at it. All right, ladies. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate you all very much. Okay. And we will see you soon. Ooh, look how cute those are. I love them. <laughs> Come over and group and see me and then visit my shop if you need anything. I appreciate it. Bye.